A 34-year-old Caucasian male with hematuria and hypertension undergoes renal biopsy. Light microscopy shows widespread glomerular lesions consistent with focal necrosis and crescent formation. The following pattern was on immunofluorescence microscopy. The slide detects deposition of which of the following substances. Is it IgE, C4, fibrin, thyroglobulin, or protein M? This is just a repetition of another question in a different way, trying to find out what makes the crescent. Again, crescents are made up of fibrin. It's made up of macrophages, monocytes, parietal cells, and plasma proteins. Plasma proteins such as IgG and C3. C4 is not usually found in in the crescents. It's not really, the crescents are not really made up of uh, C4. So obviously the answer is going to be C, fibrin. So let's quickly discuss some of the other options. By the way, crescents are formed by which diseases? It's either can be from good pasture or it can be from Wagner or it can be from vasculitis, for example, uh, pain. Those diseases are going to give us crescents. So anyway, let's talk about choice E, IgE. IgE mediates immediate hypersensitivity. Um, we can see IgE in parasite infection. It's not seen in EGN. C4 is not seen part of the crescent. It's IgG and C3B, which is mostly seen. So that is also not the viable option. Choice D, thyroglobulin, that plays no part in RPGN or crescent formation. Again, that is out. Choice E, protein M. Protein M is an important antigen, and it's a virulence factor for strep, but it's also antiphagocytic. It also has an antiphagocytic properties, but protein, protein M does not play any role in the development of RPGN. So in this case, clearly the answer is going to be C, fibrin.